Our speaker up next, her favorite color is purple. Her major is undecided, but if she could, she'd major in Batman because fun fact, Autumn Allegria's favorite thing is Batman. Ladies and gentlemen, Autumn Allegria. When I was 12 years old, I watched a man get half of his face burned off. I watched another man have his eyeball impaled, and I even witnessed an attempt to murder a child. I saw all this when I was 12 years old in the seat of a movie theater when I went to see The Dark Knight. It was horrific and literally nightmare inducing but it was still rated PG-13. It fooled a lot of people into thinking it had the same relatively child-friendly standards as Harry Potter and Pirates of the Caribbean. Obviously it didn't. <laughs> this is just one example of why PG-13 is a worthless rating and why it's a good idea to get rid of it. So my main points today are that PG-13 is confusing, it's wildly ineffective, and without it, movies would be much better rated. So, PG-13 is very confusing. The actual standards that it holds movies to are vague and inconsistent. I mean, the MPAA doesn't even have an exact definition and they created the rating. They only say, it goes beyond PG, but it doesn't reach the restricted R category. What does that definition even entail? I mean, how much violence does it take? How much nudity does it take to cross that line? No one really knows because it's not made clear. Imagine something for me, if you will. One movie scene depicts a drugged teenage girl being auctioned as a sex slave. Another movie scene depicts a man trying to overcome a lifelong stutter by trying a speech therapy method that involves saying a few swear words. Now please raise your hand if you believe the sex slave auction scene is more inappropriate for teenagers than the speech therapy scene. PG-13 disagrees with you, as Taken features a sex slave auction and got PG-13, while the King's Speech, the winner for the Best Picture Oscar, was deemed too inappropriate for teenagers and got an R rating based off that one scene alone. So is PG-13 saying that profanity is more inappropriate than violence? Even if that profanity is used for a positive goal? No one's really sure, which is why it's a worthless rating. Also, PG-13 is wildly ineffective. Firstly, it doesn't even do what it's intended to do, which is allow teenagers to see content that is appropriate for them. Movies that feature teenage topics like abortion, suicide, teenage pregnancy, and the pressures of drugs are considered too mature. Classics like The Breakfast Club, Good Will Hunting, Juno, and even the recent Oscar winner Boyhood all have R ratings, even though they show teenagers dealing with teenage issues. What is the point of this rating if it's not allowing teenagers to see movies about teenagers? <laughs> However, it'll show you hundreds of movies about violence. But at least it shows you a lot less violence than R-rated movies, right? That's what it's supposed to do. Not really. According to the University of Pennsylvania, PG-13 movies actually, on average, show the same amount of violence as R-rated movies. Furthermore, according to psychologists Potts and Belden, PG-13 movies actually feature three times as more gun violence and are actually increasing their amount of violence over time. So PG-13 deems it acceptable to show your kids and your teenagers violence instead of teenage issues being depicted. It doesn't do its one simple job correctly, which is why it's a useless rating. And finally, Movies would be much more accurately rated without PG-13. Firstly, because as was stated before, movies about teenagers would be rated so teenagers can actually see them. Secondly, it would prevent this thing called content cutting. 
PG-13 is by far the most profitable rating, so a lot of R-rated movies will actually cut some of their content out in order to earn a PG-13 so they can make more money at theaters. One big example of this is The Expendables 3, which is part of a franchise that was originally rated R. And it, according to Collider magazine, it did receive an R rating at first. But it removed some of the blood from its action sequences and managed to get its rating down to a PG-13. However, this doesn't make it a PG-13 movie. It doesn't make it a movie intended for teenagers. It makes it an R-rated movie pretending to be PG-13 for the sake of profit. It's blatantly providing inappropriate content to the wrong audience. Getting rid of PG-13 would discourage such manipulation in the future. So, PG-13 is confusing, wildly ineffective, and without it, movies would have ratings that actually make sense. So, now that you're all aware of PG-13's flaws, what can you do to help? You can vote with your wallets. PG-13's backward standards don't have to be our standards if we don't let them. We just have to support what we consider to be appropriate. So let your money and let your movie tickets do the talking. Thank you.